Park has done a good job of, and I'm not as familiar with all the processes that Ohio has been going through, in part because New York and Ohio manage their sort of environmental uh, regulations slightly differently, and I won't bother giving you guys another lecture on NEPA and Environmental Policy Acts, but needless to say, New York has a more stringent, longer review process for environmental projects, for permitting for wells, mining, and drilling than Ohio does. And so I think the one thing that New York is doing good, because it's going a little bit slower through this process, is trying to really evaluate not only what are the benefits and the costs, but also looking at Pennsylvania, at Wyoming, at Colorado, at Texas, looking at places where these activities have been going on for a longer period of time, and saying, okay, what, what are the benefits, what are the risks, what things are working, what things aren't, essentially what can we learn from these processes. And one of the things that New York has been doing in particular since Pennsylvania is right next door, is doing a lot of gas development right now and has been for the last 10 years or so, it makes sense to look at you know, what lessons can we learn from successes and failures before. And one of the biggest things that both the state in New York and uh, people working on this have identified is that we need to be really careful about how we're regulating and how we're being informed about the actual, what's known as fracking fluid. So when you're doing the well, you're adding chemicals into this, what's known as fracking fluid. In the process of producing that well, you're getting what's known as flowback water or process water. This is essentially water mixed with chemicals that are used, and sometimes also brine, in this process. Now the problem, and this is where I think the connection between New York and Ohio is important. In New York, we only have about six wells that are licensed known as class two wells for doing deep well injection. So basically you take leftover waste and you inject it down into an old mine or into an abandoned well so that can be used for exploration. But in New York, we only have about six or seven of these that are licensed. And so Ohio, because we've done lots of both underground mining and exploration in the past, has lots of wells in places like Mansfield, places all around sort of the eastern and central areas of Ohio are essentially have lots of open mines that could possibly be used for doing deep well injections. And so for New York, your solution is, well, we can try to treat it on site, we can send it to a waste treatment facility, or we can send it out of state. And so far, what most people are looking at is sending it out of state. And New York is, as all things, we love to send our garbage anywhere else but to New York, as many of you probably know. So Ohio, obviously, is not too far away, so it's a great place. You know, we'll send our dirty water over to Ohio and then we'll stick it in the ground. So one of the things.